Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, Spot Hog Releases, RTP Outdoors, America's Best Bowstrings, Hoyman Tree Saws, and Realtree. December 26th. Ho hopefully everyone had a good Christmas. Uh, I'm with Caleb tonight and we're back out after this big 10 that I was chasing before the gun seasons. We pulled a card on the way in this afternoon and he has officially made it through. He's still alive despite a lot of pressure in the neighborhood so he, uh, he must have uh, hung pretty tight for the last two and a half weeks. It seems from the trail cameras that he's been split in time between these beans and uh, the pit corn up above. And if you've been following the hunts, you know that I had encounters in both spots with him. So it comes down to picking the right spot and then obviously hunting these big fields and getting him in bow range. But I feel pretty good about tonight. We're in a hay bale blind that I put up on Monday, which would have been uh, about three days ago, three, four days ago. I'm hoping the deer just really aren't paying much attention to it. You know, this is big time ag country, so uh, they've seen plenty of hay bales in their life. And uh, this is just the best option to be able to hunt this side of the beans. So as long as we got in clean, which it seemed like we did, and as long as he's bedding where I hope he is, we should have a decent chance tonight. Um, like before, we'll probably contend with a lot of does, and if we can get past them, uh, they should be moving tonight. We had a big time cold front come through this morning, so it's a lot cooler than it was yesterday. So we'll see. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of luck, obviously, but uh, I'm excited to be back out chasing them. See how they disappear in, those, in that grass. It's about four o'clock right now, and uh, we finally just saw our first deer of the evening. Looks like uh, my cut up from being bedded up in that CRP, that small buck, and there's another deer with it too. They're heading down kind of towards these beans. We got just over an hour left, so hopefully that's a good sign that they're gonna all get up, start moving a little bit early tonight, and uh, hopefully we can lay our eyes on them with plenty of light left. There's at least three of us. That's where I hope he doesn't come from. That's a long ways to cover. Oh, there he is. 
is, there he is right there behind Milky. so big standing next to that little bug. Don't go that way. All day, the dog's kind of looking at me down the road. She's going to have to follow. The problem is, they're walking right towards the corner. Get up on his way, buddy. This bug's in like eight yards right here. All right, yet another close call, as you could see. Uh, I think we were just one move away from getting a shot at that deer. 
he must have been with the hot doe because he uh you obviously saw him come out chasing her and they've disappeared over the hill <clears throat> and we had a bunch of deer come down feeding right by us right by that blind like i said i put that blind up on monday and they could have cared less i mean there's a couple of them looking they're catching our movement a little bit inside but as far as the blind itself they were perfectly relaxed feeding by that hay bale blind um most of the night and i was just hoping he's eventually going to pop over the hill because we had a bunch of live decoys it would have been perfect i could have shot any of those deer that were out in the beans um but right at last light i saw him clear up on the hill again where we first saw him he was with with the doe again so i think he just stayed with her the entire evening and uh never made it down even close to us so it was cool there's some definitely excitement there uh he started running down towards us and i picked up my bow and <clears throat> really thought we were gonna have a chance but just a, another fun encounter um not sure when i'm gonna have the conditions go after that deer again there might be some other hunters coming in to hunt him too so was we'll kind of play it by year, day by day. Um, Going to warm up a little bit again, but um, hopefully eventually we'll get that cold weather to really make these deer need to feed, and uh, then I think our chances will go up. So going to keep at it. Uh, fun to see him again, though.